Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's going to be a quick one. I'm going to show you my budget for my paycheck, which will be arriving tomorrow, as well as unstuff what was placed in my wallet two weeks ago. So let's not waste any time and let's get right into it. Okay, so how is everybody doing? I'm doing well. I had a great day at work today and I'm actually looking forward to the weekend that's, you know, almost there, you know, soon. It will be the weekend <clears throat> and a nice relaxing one at that. So I won't keep you too long. Let's just get into this video. I hope you all enjoy it. Thank you so much. For those of you who have subscribed to my channel, um, watch my videos, like them, shared them. I appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, let me introduce myself. My name is Estelle. I am the budgeting introvert. You see this card here because it is my birthday month. It is also my magic month. And I'm all about anything that has to do with budgeting. You name it, I love it. So... This channel is dedicated to anyone who likes budgeting as well and just like and just would like to see me continue on my journey and maybe if I can give anyone ideas that, you know, can help them on their financial journey, then you know it's a win-win in my book. So let's open the cash tray. So grocer groceries, we started with 90 2 weeks ago. And I now have $6 left. I actually went through a lot when it came to groceries, but I'm glad to have some money left over. For pet care, that went into my um, cat's binder. She has a separate binder where I put any leftover money for her. For gas, I only filled up once. We had a budget of 50. I now have uh, 25 left over. So I only filled up one time which is actually pretty good. Household, I'm empty. Toiletries, I'm empty. My personal, you know, section here, the budgeting introvert, I believe I had 25 in there. I have $5 left. Dine out is empty. And coffee break is empty. So that's it for the wallet. Next time you see this, I will be adding cash to it. So let me put that aside. And let's add up what we have. After two weeks, we have left 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, which is pretty good. I'm gonna put this back and then close the cash tray because I'm gonna use this money in the savings challenges in a separate video. And I won't be using it again for the rest of this video. So we're going to close that and move on. So the next part that I'm going to go into, let me move my marker out of the way, is my budget, budget binding book or my budget book. Let me just slide a couple things back because this is a very big book. So I just want to make sure I get it in frame. And I didn't have time to do a monthly May budget, I'm going to work on that. But I was able to do a breakdown of my paycheck, which I will be receiving tomorrow. So this will be a very quick video. I just want to give you guys an idea of what I'm working with. So rollover will be from the last paycheck I had. I have about 500 that I'm rolling over. I do not do zero-based budget. As of right now, I just feel like I need a cushion. I know a lot of people do zero-based budget, and I hope one day I can put all my money in its place. But right now, I'm just comfortable having, you know, just in case something happens. So that's why that's there. Paycheck, I don't put how much I'm expecting for my paycheck because I do have people that I know that watch these videos, and they don't need to know that. So I don't put that information there. So the bills I have coming up that this paycheck will take care of is my car insurance. I have it with uh, AAA. Uh, it's $151.26. You know, my goal for this is to 
pay for this, you know, six months each. So, you know, six months I pay a, a balance, you know, and then save up in another six months. I'm hoping I can do that one day because, you know, month to month isn't bad, but I really want to get ahead on my bills. So I really need to take some time to make a plan for myself so that I can do that. So I hope one day I can. Maybe I hope you guys continue to support me on this journey and maybe you can give me some tips to help me get a month ahead, six months ahead. That, that'd that be great. And I'm also watching all of your videos and you guys are great motivation and I learn a lot from all of you. So thank you. Uh, next up is my phone bill. That's $54.65, which isn't bad. You know, I have AT&T, so it's not okay. And the final thing that's coming out of this paycheck is um, it's LVAC. That's the gym here in Las Vegas. It's the Las Vegas Athletic uh, Club, and it's $25 a month. This I don't mind so much because my job reimburses you up to $25, so they'll give you the $25 back. Anything over 25, you're only getting 25. So it's best to go 25 and below. So I will get this back. So I'm not really taking it out, if that makes sense. I hope that I explained that well. For my cash budgeting, I'll be going to the bank. And I'm going to take out for groceries and pet care, gas, household, toiletries for myself, dining out and coffee. It's the exact same things you just saw in my wallet. Um, groceries is getting 90 again for my cat. She's getting 40, which I do need to buy her some items for, cause I'll be going on a trip soon. I've talked about it briefly. Now the trip is coming up in 14 days. So I have to make sure she has what she needs cause she is not coming with me on this trip. Um, gas, uh, $50 once again, households getting 30. I have a couple of things I need to buy. Toiletry is 15. I'm giving myself 30 dining out. I put 40 and then coffee, which is really just my supplies because I make my own coffee is 20, which, you know, today is Thursday. You know, they have the buy one, get one free at Starbucks and at work. Everyone is like signing up for it because, you know, you buy one, get one free. And I'm always like, no, thank you. I make my own coffee. You know, I know it's a couple of dollars, but those add up every week. If you spend $8 every Thursday on a cup of coffee, that adds up. So I'll stick to my $20 budget here. Next up is subscriptions. This is my Netflix, my um, Apple Music, which not really my Apple Music, but my Hulu, anything, my, anything that I have that I um, need to take out for. My phone insurance, all of that is $40. I put it on a credit card and I just pay it off. Next up is a breakdown for my wallets or my uh, budget binders, excuse me. This is everything that I have between my subscription binder and my savings. This is um, car wash, car maintenance, um, gaming, AAA, because I have you know AAA to help me out. Amazon, Apple, that's Apple Music, got, you know, a little not clear there, Costco, Hulu, Peacock, my Canva subscription, and I'm putting car registration back because it's time to start saving for that again for the next year. So I'm happy to have that back. Over here, uh, Funcation, which I call it, Vacation, no, it's Funcation. This is actually getting 180, it always is. And this is for my trip that's coming up again at, in the middle of this month. Emer and my emergency, which is $200. These two amounts come out of my check automatically. I never see this money. It transfers over into my other bank account. So I don't miss what I don't see. And then for savings, I put 237 but I think I'm going to take out a little bit more than that. I just need to, you know, consider and think about it. So then I did a breakdown, but I don't think I like the way I did it. I don't know. It, it's, I wrote everything down. And normally I do like sinking funds is this. Hold on, let me fix my name. I'll, I'll put it up here. Sinking funds is this. Savings is this. And I don't know. I think I was in the mood to write it all out. I, I mean, I'll, I'm not sure I like it, but 
you know, it's an experiment. We'll see what happens on paycheck number two. But all the denominations are written out. And total with everything looks like I'm taking out $509 across my wallet, my savings challenges, my sinking funds, my subscriptions, my savings challenges, the whole thing. So that's what it's looking like I'm going to take out, which is, you know, it's okay with me. I don't mind. So since I have you all here, you know, and this isn't really a long video anyway, let me at least write out on my cash breakdown card. So at least I don't have to do this tomorrow Tomorrow when I go to the bank. So I'm going to speed you guys up as I write this out. So I'll be right back. Okay. It's all written out on my card. This is what I will be taking with me in my um, uh, cash holder. So this is going to come with me to the bank. So that's all that I have today, actually, is just this simple budget with me, even though I kind of budgeted already, but I wanted to share it with you. That's all I have. So thank you so much for tuning in to this very quick video. The next time you see me, we'll be cash stuffing. And the money that we took out of the wallet will go into some of these, you know, savings challenges. That'll be the next video. So please look out for that. I appreciate every single one of you. Let's continue to work together and strive toward a beautiful financial future. I will talk to each one of you later. Bye.